Well, thank you, arms. Thank you for telling me I need to wear, use the Joy-Cons to play this game properly. Hello there, everyone! Alex Man here, and welcome to another Game and Chill, where we basically play a game to see if it's not... It's a game that's basically a review, or basically a game that doesn't allow for a playthrough, like a normal playthrough on the channel. And as such, we are going to be playing the ill-fated... Uh, quintessential game that was designed for the Switch, we have ARMS, the new IP by Nintendo of many years ago, and uh, figured we'd give this game a shot today. Now, if you want to play, I'm pretty sure we have to get look onto friends, and then we can play online with each other if we so choose, but right for now, we're going to be punching up some ways to go into arms here. Let me set up my arms real quick with my character so far. Let's see here. Can I switch to... That's again for... Oh, I can't switch my arms from Spring Man. Okay, whatever. Anyway. But what arms is, folks, is a punching game. Sort of like Punch-Out, but not. Where basically you have characters from all across the world basically having these springy-like arms and whatnot and essentially into punch each other to death with different styles of punching gloves. Let's go into online. And let's play with the uh, character that everyone likes, Min Min. Let me connect to a server here and we'll get into battles. And if you guys want to play in and get a... Uh, uh, if you guys want to play, we'll get some more friends in, add some friends, and we'll see what happens. It looks like we're going to like have to wait for a match to end here and we'll have to win. Usually, sometimes, the online is pretty good. But sometimes it can be outright dull. We can warm up here with our specific arms here. The left and right Joy-Cons do control each arm individually. Now, the game showed right off the bat that you can play this with the in-handheld mode, or you could use it, or portable mode, or use it with a Pro Controller. But I'll tell you this right now, folks. This game is not really meant to play with, um, in those other modes. And how you throw your Joy-Cons in the direction will basically turn your control will basically turn your shot in any different directions. If you shoot them both at the same time, you insensate a grab, which can break through shields, which the, which you guys can do by basically putting your two Joy-Cons together with each other. So we have a two-on-two, two, two uh, Midman and Ribbon Girl. Another. Oh, we have like a link system here. Okay. All right, let's do this. I'm the true Min Min here. Hoo-ya! Hoo-ya! Let's have some fun, folks. Let's do this. Now, I'm not the most proficient player at this. At this game, but... But I'll tell you now that there are... Some, the game is pretty interesting, to say the least. It's kind of sad that this game didn't really get the, you know, the initial love that it initially deserved. Like, I'm pretty sure people kind of forgot this game existed until Smash Brothers revealed Min Min to be in as a next uh, next DLC fighter. So by all accounts, this is a oh no, oh no, no, gonna be grabbed. Okay, oh boy, oh it's like one guy's down, one opponent's left. Enter special mode. I missed the timing of that really badly. Yeah. Finish this! Bam! Oh, what a punch out! Well, technically, she got uh, kind of uh, ganged up on there right at the end, which is kind of fortunate. On two on two battles, this might happen. But still, uh, anytime you be any mode, either the party or the the Grand Prix mode or online, you get these arm tokens. You use these tokens to basically buy more arms for you to uh, purchase for each individual character. Now you have to play a slightly small minigame door to actually collect arms, and arms are collected in random intervals. So we got Headlock here. This is technically like the main bad guy type thing for the game. You can only encounter this guy if you actually play the Grand Prix on harder difficulties. Good. Let's go! Hiya! Like I said before, you can uh, you know guard against any enemy attacks by putting your Joy-Cons together. 
but it also charges up your arms for a devastating attack for at least one of the arms. So you can... Oh, I got my arms disabled. No! This is, and this is a weird mode for online. It's, it's headlock. Essentially, it's basically a, a three-on-one. Where headlock is this really powerful character, or at least the character playing that is basically now playing with multiple arms. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that kind of hurt like nothing else. Take that! Uh, I didn't reach my gigavolt, but whatever. Ow! Go, go, go! Punch him in the. Ow! Oh no, oh no! I'm almost dead! Ooh, sorry, my sneeze there. Oh no, I'm dead! Ow! Yeah, trying to fight this headlock guy, we almost... No, we didn't actually never got him down. We got only got down to half health, and he was at level 5, so... It was odd, to say the least. <laughs> it is fun playing as him, I guess, but man... Yeah, we didn't have a chance. This headlock, whenever it appears as the person who has it, has such an advantage. You only got six arms to, to use against an attack, and the special is... Oh, I'll get you next time. Well, I want a badge somehow. Huh, interesting. Uh, badges you can earn by playing the game in multiple different uh, modes and everything. And uh, earning badges is sort of like the achievement system in ARMS. Wherein it's such, you know, that there really isn't like an achievement system by Nintendo officially. But, or like, like on like PlayStation and Xbox do. But... But usually every game that Nintendo usually does sometimes, they usually put some sort of an in-game achievement that you can, you know, achieve for. <laughs> oh no, I am pretty bad at this, folks. Bear that in mind. <laughs> oh, and she keeps grabbing me. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't hit her. <laughs> she keeps avoiding me. She's gonna use her slipper attack. Ah, I'm doomed. I'm so surprisingly alive, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna hit her. Ah! I did not have a chance. There's people out here that still play this, and it's just. They know how to basically game the system and whatnot, but man, I just like. I just did not get a chance. We've been playing Min Min for a bit. I mean, if you get playing more, you get actually get uh, you get more uh, more points the more you play with the same particular character. Uh, in normal uh, Grand Prix mode, you will encounter these type of missions like this, where you have to take down targets. I really don't like this too much because it's so gimmicky into what happens. Come on, want to hit targets? Oh boy. All right, come on. Ow! Ah, uh, I got my arms disabled. Come on now. Again, you have to shoot your, uh, your Joy-Cons in the direction where you need to go. person knows how to fight. I really don't want to fight against this guy anymore. Because <laughs> I can't win against him. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm actually going to win? Wow. My points are higher than hers. <laughs> yeah! Unintentional win here at the Alex Man channel. Somehow won that by sheer luck. If you win, you get more of these arm tokens. And if you lose, you only get like one or two. So it's not much of more. Can I set my arms? Let's switch to... Um, let's switch to Scorpion. There we go. So I have three different... Um, every arm has unique... Uh, has a unique ability um, 
depending on the arm elemental settings, you can have, you know, multiple different, like, fire, ice, electric, and basically that sort of slow factor in that regard, too. I'm gonna warm up, because I want to keep, uh, keep playing, not have to be on a loading screen all the time. The scorpions are all, like, like a dive maneuver arm. But also, if it affects your opponent, it actually does poison damage. To be fair. Which does happen when you basically charge it up, too, to be fair. -la -la -la. Is another match going to start? Soon. So we got another fight going. A two-on-two. -two. It looks like someone's got a little bit of assistance there. We'll see how this goes. And sometimes the frame rate can drop. Like, right there looked like the frame rate was dropping pretty badly. But it usually, it usually fixes itself after a while. <laughs> Alright, let's wait to start this. Oh, no. Ah! Now, you can come, you can change your arms in multiple different combinations. You can have both of the same arm if you wish. Some, but though sometimes, though, having two different arms can basically change your fighting strategy to, to a ridiculous degree. So you can have just the normal punches, you can have, you know, hammers, boomerangs, nunchucks, all that stuff. And you can have the, some of the specialty arms, like, you know, like a, like a little bit of a mitt, so you can actually, you know, swing people around like nothing else. Hit this! Booyah! Teammates down! And she put up her shield up so she actually blocks most of the damage. Oh, my teammates down means I'm gonna get teamed up on this one. Ah! Oh, I tried my best on that one, folks. Not too bad, though. I would say that the... The teaming up mechanic is a little weird, to be fair. Because after one person goes down, it's kind of hard to lock on to an opponent, whichever you want. Because the camera likes to go wherever it wants to. Which is not the best in the solutions in that by far, but... But at the same time, it's... It's... Man, if they make an ARMS 2, which is what, two ARMS? I don't think they would call it ARMS 2. I think they call it two ARMS. I think that'd be actually kind of hilarious. But everyone was thinking that it was going to be Spring Man going to join the Smash roster, but no, it was Min Min. Because I, I think it was behind it was that the, like, whatever it was, like, I think it was an arms tournament or something. That sort of, uh, that was someone was playing as Min Min and they won. And they figured, you know what? She's technically the most unique character out of the bunch. Let's add her to Smash, you know? And it's like... It seems to be a very odd out of case character because Min Min was a, was a spirit in the World of Light. And so is all the rest of the armed fighters. So it's like, how do you add someone as a DLC when they were a spirit? But I guess they got upgraded. Take that! Oh, snap! Ow, 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 oof. I blocked your shot, buddy. No! Aw, oh, got me right there at the end. I got him down to a little health. Not doing the best out of the bunch, folks, but, you know, trying my best here. I don't play ARMS very often. Because I initially got about, basically about a month ago, and I've been playing it off and on to see how well it would handle. Because it was on sale when I got it. <laughs> they were all putting this, the game was on sale when I bought this game. So, I figured, it was like, you know, this is the best time ever to actually get into the newest IP of Nintendo. But it would have been really cool if they keep continuing the ARMS franchise. Well, it's not a franchise yet, but, you know, what can you do? Hmm. Let's set up my arms like this. hoo Take care of that. Oh, boy. Ow, you. Stop hitting me like that. Come on out. Yeah, with that blast. It's best to grab. You have to on this mode. You have to hit the targets. 
I barely am on the green side because like that caught me that caught me off guard there. Our <laughs> guard there for a second. Oh, I got grabbed. Get out of here, you. Booyah! Even if you don't hit the targets, you can still hit the opponent, your opponent, and you can still get points for that. You don't get very many points for doing so, but at least it's something, you know. So you're not technically empty-handed when you don't when you miss all the targets, so bear that in mind. And I win again with a thousand points! I'm winning at this, folks, rather than anything else. <laughs> Unnecessarily epic, I should say. Ho ho! Getting a lot of these tokens. I need all the tokens if I'm going to get most of the arms. You know, I think I got most of them from almost every character now. Oh, I have a three-on-three -three headlock scramble. This is a different type of the headlock uh, event. There's a headlock in the middle of the arena. Whoever hits it first gets the ability to put headlock onto them, which gives them the grand bear to have, you know, what headlock did in her match earlier. But you have to break the case first. Oh boy. No, he grabbed it, now he has it. And see what I mean is, I'm locked onto the character all the way on the opposite side of the match, but I'm not locked up now I'm locked onto headlock here. Well headlock moved off of him. Oh boy, ow, ow, ow! See look, I can't even lock onto that other character that just hit. Oh boy. Wow, you're really just going after me for some reason. Because I'm the most popular character, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's annoying. No, I'm dead! Ah, I got done in, folks. I got done in. I wish that I wish the I wish the controls to I wish there was a way to you know switch camera controls, but there isn't. So when you're trying to attack attack someone else, you get owned by an opposing player that's outside your range, which isn't technically fair to be honest. I wish it was you know more. I wish it was more, shall we say, better handled. Which I'm pretty sure in the next, if Arms really does get more popular again. Um, I would most likely, I would most likely see some, you know, improvements to the, to the online experience. And multiplayer, to be fair. Um, uh, let's switch up to the Megavolt. Let's do this. You gotta wait for them to start. I go! hi -ya! Ow! Hits me! I will not do. Then, ow! How do I get the poison damage? Doesn't feel like it does enough. So at least in multiplayer matches, if you're in the middle of a grab and someone hits you while doing so, well, yeah, it's kind of problematic to be fair. Ow! Ow! Smash him to bits. And I, you know, oh, he's getting health. And I'll tell you now, I love the main theme of Arms. I'll tell you that much. The music of Arms is pretty good for the most part, but it's all just one letter. Ooh! It's like you can't just make a, you just can't make a theme out of just one letter. And Arms is like, hold my drink. <laughs> Booyah! I didn't technically KO it, but I got caught up in the wind of it, folks. <laughs> oh, snap. Ha! I got 20 tokens so far. We'll have to get, we'll soon have to get more, though, for that. If you're just waiting on the loading screen, you can just hit the... The L and R buttons on the droid cons, you can just shake your uh, icon around. Another headlock. Headlock scramble, looks like to us. 
Just like before, you have to, oh, actually, no, we're actually going to get a headlock. I'm going to put the, uh, our scorpions on. Now, I'm not completely sure if this actually is an online opponent or it's just an AI that's taking control. Because it's not only three of us joining in. But it probably is an online player. Oh, I got knocked out of the grab. Ha! He's blocking my shots. Oh, I got... Oh boy, that was close. Ha! He's got superpower. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it a little bit better. Ow! And I say that I get hit. Take that! Oh, what a shot! What a punch! Now it's kind of weird how this lore of this game is, is that these apparently these people are just born with the ability to stretch their arms out and there's a lot of not a lot of lore behind it but the fact is that it's not truly explained why these people get the, like, the ability to and it's only a select number of people that can do it and I think there's like um, a main villain another a villain or something that I think it's like Dr. Clyde or I think it is I'll have to look at in the Come on, we can beat it! Come on! Is he gonna win by timeout? Yeah! One second! <laughs> One second left, folks! Right there and took out Headlock. Yeah! I won a badge for that, too. Nice! That's more uh, extra uh, tokens for me at the end of the session. Huzzah! Do -do -do. Looks like we're going against Jin on his own. Alright, we got this folks. We got this. We got this. We can oh he's got some he's got some mighty arms on him. I think I'll keep my scorpions. Let's go! Oh this is the not the can't forget can't forget which stage this guy's from. <laughs> But the character this guy's playing is, is Springtron, which is meant to be a it's a robot form of Springman. It's not really explained why you know the, they decided to create a robot for uh, for Springman, but not anyone else. You think they would do it for everyone else? Ow. Got grabbed into oblivion. Oh, I got my arms disabled. No, no. Keeps charging my arms, arms up and I get ruined by it. Yeah, take your special out the door. Oh, that bomb did me in. That's all he did too. No! Ah! I'm in low health. No! Ow! I got done in. That was a close match, though. I guess he is the most perfect uh, life form, I guess. A robot with springy arms would technically work. I'm going to change up characters. It's time to go play the actual sort of main protagonist of the game. Let's set arms here. I want to set arms to... I already have Boomerang. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. The Ricochet and the Tri Shot. All right, let's go. Spring Man, the guy that got the, technically the main, uh, you know, the main protagonist. I guess there is not really a protagonist in this game. So we got another game mode here. This is hoops. Your main goal is to basically to grab your opponent and, and do basically a very awkward set of basketball. The points of basketball do type of apply. So if you can go for a three throw. You get three points. If you go with inside the ring, it's two. Ah! Ow! 
Come on. Oh, I missed it. Yeah! Take a dunk! Huzzah! The max points you can get out of this match is 10. The first one to 10 wins. Come on, you. Ow. Yeah, there we go. Three points. Booyah! Man, I'm kind of I'm actually picking up a bit of a sweat here, folks. I am standing up for this. Don't misunderstand. Because you need to play arms while standing. It makes for the most immersive experience. You know how it is. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Who am I fighting up against? Oh, we're going against a try, a try shot. Not most of the best of the modes, it's rather four on four, but I guess one, one on ones would be the best, but it's kind of weird how the frame rate drops when you're on the loading screen. It is so weird. I'm staying back to see what happens here. Take out Springtron. That's Twin Tell. Basically, I would say it was, it was either going to be Twin Tell or it was going to be um, Min Min that was probably going to join Smash. Everyone was so hyped to basically. Everyone was. I'm so. I'm so glad that Min Min got in because I think she is the most popular character, at least in my eyes. But Twin Tell was technically the next major popular. Major popular. I say. I say, man, if it was like. You know, there could be like a dual fighter. I think, I think, uh, I think Twin Tail would have been good for an Echo fighter. You know, if a, if the DLC fighters could have an Echo, I think this would work. I think Twin Tail would have been a perfect spot for it. Look out! Ow, ow, I'm getting frozen. Ow! Fine. You want that? Take this! Oh, you guard me out of that. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna be dead here. Take that! Well, that's it. Oh, I got hit out of it. No! I guess get me take my distance here. No! I got done by Twin Tell. No! Ah! <laughs> uh. I lose that match from the very front. Yeah, you drank your tea. <laughs> Twin Tail is the, I would say one of the more the in, also the interesting characters has her arms are not technically the ones being thrown out. She has control of her hair. That just seems so weird, doesn't it? In a game of arms, Twin Tail is able to channel her power through her arms. Where everyone else uses, you know, you know, their own, you know, body to have arms. And switch up to uh, to uh, try shots. Let's do this. Oh, you can actually switch. Oh, the target can. Oh, there is actually an in-game uh, way to change targets. Oh, I see. So what? You put. Oh, you. Oh, you hit down on the deep on the left Joy-Con. Okay, that makes. I guess that makes some sort of sense. Again, I wish they would told me that earlier. <laughs> Learning as I play, folks. Learn as I play. Go! Huzzah! <laughs> oh, I got combo there like nothing else. Ow. Oh, she took out my arms. I'm doomed. Why are you taking out my arms like that? Wow! I guess I got combo to death was probably the most reason by. To be fair, honestly. We'll get better at it, folks. We still got a long time ahead of us here. Za! That doesn't mind. I get all the coins I can I ever want. And besides, I got achievements unlocked or something for the points. Let's try up uh, Ribbon Girl and her abilities. 
try to get every character some type of love tonight. Now, as I said before, well, I haven't said this before, every every armed fighter does have a unique ability all the uh, Dr. Coil. She's technically the main antagonist of the game. For some reason. I think she was added as DLC. Because it was meant to be like Max Brass, I think it was. So we got we got arm ball, <laughs> I guess. And we gotta do some volleyball. I think it's not too bad of a mode. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there we go. Huzzah! After you hit the ball, after you hit the ball with a grab, it will go into like a sort of a slam maneuver, which you can, you know, spike it. After after hitting it enough times, it will basically break the ball's outer core or outer skin, and basically it will be a heavy ball, a heavy piece of metal, like that. And after that, it's you can't do anything with it. To be fair. But Ribbon Girl has a unique ability. She can actually double jump. Or actually triple jump, I think is her ability. She can trip she can do another jump. So she can be in the air for a lot longer than normal. Booyah! Booyah! Dr. Quill and her robot friend, her robot creation, lost in a match to four to one. Go back to your go back to your lab and see if you can rebuild your uh, contraption. Let's wait here. And thank you for all watching on Twitch tonight. Thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure. I always admire you lurkers out there. It's what you guys out there that keeps me going. All right, that's an actual fight now. Let's try, let's try these two arms. Hoya! Huzzah! Ooh, that's gotta hurt a little bit. Oh, this, this, this sparkler isn't doing the, is not doing it justice. I find myself grabbing more often than punching. Just because it feels like it's more natural to do that for some reason. Come on now. I'm not having any chance at this person. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. Got done in. These people out there's people out here that play this more than I do. Like I said, I wanna start playing this like a month ago. So I am not the most perfect person to play this game. But hey, you know what? I think it's just for uh, just for a change of pace. Let's try the next character in the lineup. Ninja! And his arms are all of chains. So he's got like a his body has a is a basically a built-in hook shot from the Legend of Zelda series. Which actually kinda makes sense somewhat, I guess. <laughs> now let's try this guy out. Arms up! Huzzah! Ninja is actually a ninja. Every time he dodge uh, a dodge jump out of the way, he actually disappears. I can like a mythical ninja would be, which is kind of a nice chance in the detail. Yes! Oh, I missed it. Certain times, I've, I've probably seen it before, but there are certain times where these balloons will come down and uh, basically to give uh, the match a little bit more flair, as it were. There are two different types of bombs, but there's also two different types of pickups. One's a health pickup, and one is an it's a special pickup. Uh, which basically it charges your special meter. As you've seen it before, your special meter is that glowing triangle on your... Everywhere. You can't guard out of it. You can't guard this. Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself. I kinda do myself by hitting the button. Nah, he, out he outshot me there. 
My arms weren't the best of the bunch, folks, on that one. <laughs> Alpha Wolf beats me to the punch. Literally. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's change. I need to set my arms. Oh, I can't set my arms. Okay. Headlock scramble. Another scramble for the headlock. Let's do this, folks. Let's try boomerangs. Oh, I'm actually a different car I'm actually a different color. That's interesting. You know, I there's a way to do it, but I've just never figured out how to do it. How do you do change your character's color? Oh yeah, there we go. My boomerangs of fury! Ah, oh, knock the headlock out of me. I'll tell you to knock the headlock out of me. That's a, ow. Where'd the other guy go? That's a quick question. Get out of my health pool. Take care of that! Oh, he grabs me out of the special, which can happen, and it will cancel out your special. Bear that in mind. Oh, I got it! Oh, I got KO'd. I thought I KO'd him, but I guess I could. I guess I didn't, though. That's, that's a bit of a shame. We'll see at the end of this match, see who wins out. Will it be the actual Ninjaro or the other guy? <laughs> Let's see what happens, folks. Ooh. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, boy. No one's actually going after the headlock for some reason. Oh! That could be gone to a draw. Oh, what happens? And time. And Ninjara wins. The other Ninjara. Not me, but... Well. Nah. Who am I to judge? <laughs> ha! Wasn't good luck on that one. Let's go for the mummy! See, do I actually have his arms set differently? I'll keep these arms, why not? The mummy is a very heavy set character. Well, heavier, as it were. But if you do put up his shield up, he does actually get, uh, he actually gets some health regeneration back, which is actually pretty good in this instance. Headlock scramble once again? Yeah! He does, I, uh, of all the grabs though, I believe it's either Max Brass or the Mummy that does the most damage in grabs. So, so that basically that's how they're best known for. Ow. Oh, go, 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 go! These guys don't special ready to go. You hit this. Come on, you. And you can, you, if you can insert, interpret or find out where the trajectory of your opponent's arms are going, if you shoot your arms towards theirs, it actually does block their shots. So bear that in mind. Come on! Oh, he's almost dead. Come on! You slam down! Ow! No! 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 no, no. Ow! Yay! <laughs> My shots blocked. <laughs> Permitted his chance from guarding the others. So I win by technicality. <laughs> we'll give another shot at the mummy as well. Give you guys all the, the necessary love. We're trying to go through every character. 
as again with um, arms how the way it was handled it was handled the same way as Splatoon where it was released and then when the uh, updates would happen free updates to the game over time but I just don't know why this game didn't really take off you think it would have knowing the popularity of Splatoon and it is you know it is handling the Splatoon type you know type energy but also at the same time it's not Splatoon. Now, it would be cool if there was a manga tied to it, or some type of comic that would lead up into it. That'd be kind of cool. So, hey, Splatoon got a manga. <laughs> you know, if that's anything to go by. I know it's kind of outside the subject of the video and stream, of course. But, you know, Splatoon did get a manga. It, is actually, it actually does uh, go through, like, all of the... Uh, it goes through Splatoon, Splatoon 1 and 2 in terms of somewhat of a story, I think. It is pretty cool. It didn't get an English release. Fair. Now, ARMS needs it. ARMS needs some type of... Some type of system. Or some type of... Summatory material. A reading material of some kind to... Explain more of the ARMS. And I guess they would explain that in, you know, in... In some type of... Lore. Like, it, it's, ARMS needs some lore. Come on out. What's on? Uh, oh, my arms are defeated. No, goodness, we have gotten we got double their points, man. We just destroyed the mecha mechas. <laughs> Huzzah! Har! <laughs> Har! Sweet. I actually was actually kind of worried that there would be um. No one playing tonight. Because <laughs> everyone thought, like, oh, it's for arms didn't catch on, so probably no one's playing it. But you can see right here tonight, folks, the community is still healthy to play online. There's always there's always people playing, and that's cool. That means it's... I'm pretty sure the spike in popularity probably happened because of Smash Brothers. But I wish it wasn't the case, because it's, you know... I would like to you know to have I know Smash Brothers is now keeping arms alive. We'll give it we'll say it that much. But at the same time Platoon was able to handle on its own without any support. And Nintendo pushed it. I don't think Nintendo really pushed arms all that much though. Like they announced it and everything and they're like, oh this is be kinda cool when it was probably cool for the first couple months it was out, but then people decided like this is all the game is. People kinda dropped it in a sense. You're not gonna get out of here. No, 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 no! Ah! Ha! Nope. Ah! Got me again. Tried. I can hold out better with him than. Don't worry, we're gonna be playing as you later. We're getting there. We're getting through all the characters, folks. We're going through all the characters. We've done Min Min at the starting off of this, so let's try Mechanica. And she's got, um, what have my arms got her for? Revolver, Warhammer, and the Homer. Let's try this. Set that one. There we go. Let's try her out. Now, it's not clear if Mechanica is a a cyborg of some kind, or is that just a, a suit that she's driving that has these arms and whatnot that she can control. Because, again, there's not really lore set to the game where it's like... The hammer is a pretty unique ham uh, arm of sorts, where it can... Essentially, I think it can break shields, I think, too, because it can go over shields. Like, some people, like, sometimes you can shield. The hammer actually attacks above the shield at times, so you can actually use that as a way to, you know, to get over someone's shield. Uh, ow. Huh. Take that! Take that! 
I missed the timing on that one. That was not the best chance of doing that. Oh, I caught someone in mid-air. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I know that I can change my target on the fly. That's actually making it a lot easier, though. The fact is... I think it should be like the R buttons or something. The ZR or Z or something of that sort. Just so you can have a bit of a way to... Easier to control. No, I'm dead. Well, I'm still alive somehow. Huh. Booyah! Come on, can I kill somebody at least? Can I kill someone? Come on! Come on! Ah! Okay. I tried that one, folks. No worries there. We'll get more use out of Mechanica a little bit more. Whew, but man, I tell you, this actually is giving you a little bit of a workout. I'm actually kind of sweating up there on my head. Interesting, the boat. Now, it's not like Ring Fit, which is going to make you a huge workout, but sure, but, you know. Whew. Let's try, yeah, we're going to keep with her. Uh, let's see. Can I switch her arm out to being a shield? No, I can't. I'll switch it out. It's kind of it's so fast to switch arms out like that. <laughs> Magic get in so quick. <laughs> we'll go with the headlock arms. Why not? Hey, take that thing off your head! What's out? No, 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 no! Ah! Knocked it off my head! Oh boy! No! Don't grab me! Attack other- yeah, you die! Go down, Ribbon Girl. K.O. Now take on the actual guy at full health. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I lost it. No, no, the grab threw me in. Ah. Well, I, I, I got a KO. That's all that matters. I'm gonna get some water here. Whew. That's tasty water. Need that to play in this game, for sure. Let's see. Oh, every time I go to set arms, it's always going about really, really fast. Go up against a, uh, a normal... Headlock. Let's try this. Headlock level four. Forget the hammer. Its own fist and a, its own head is a fist and a, and a hammer. Uh, ah. 200 points of damage. Come on. Slam the hammer down! Hammer the arm down! Oh, connection with the Alpha Wolf was lost! It was a draw! Well, okay, that's new. Alpha Wolf lost connection. <laughs> it's a draw. <sighs> Everyone's disappointed! Even Headlock's disappointed on that one! <laughs> Let's see if I can switch uh, her arm up to being a... A frost boomerang. Well, I missed missed a chance on that one. It's so fast too. Even though you think there's not very many people playing, you can't switch your arms very fast. We'll stay up with this. Max energy starting off with. Thank you. No! 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 no. Ow! 
Take a special to the face. Take that hammer to the face. <laughs> ah, ow. Oh no. Oh, oh ow. Man, she can give me that grab like any time. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, take that. You. I can do I can do grabs too. Take that. Boom. Hammer. Hammer. Booyah. You're not flying any now, ribbon girl. I'm surprised you can actually move in that suit as well as it is. <laughs> I earned a badge. Wow. Okay. All right, it's time now for Twin Tell, and her special ability is Ice. She likes Ice. That's her main, like most, her starting arms deal with Ice physics. Uh, Twin Tell against two other Ribbon Girls. Let's do this. Wait, start. Headlock. Oh yeah, it was a headlock match. Come on now. No, I want the headlock. Oh, I grabbed it from her head. Wow. No! No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, stop healing up. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, a lot of damage to her, yes. Well, I'm dead. Oh, I got... These triple... These triple... Triple fights... They're one-sided. As soon as one... Like, you get pummeled, and like, one, just, one person just sits out and just waits for one person to die. And then take the other person down while they're weak, and that's it. It's not perfectly balanced. I wish it was more balanced in that regard, but... Again, there was... I wish... There, there is a ranked mat. There is ranked in this. And those people fight for blood. They do. <laughs> you will get destroyed by going to ranked. Hello. Not a good start for Twin Tail, but we'll get... She's gonna get more action. Let's see if I can. I don't actually much any more arms with her, so I'm gonna have to keep her initial starting set. Hello. Versus a headlock. Can we actually beat headlock this time too? Headlock level four, in the form of Spring Man. Let's do this. Oh uh, yeah! That's amazing, though, her power is that she can use her arms in the, with her hair. <laughs> Man, would you have liked, like to have that ability? You know, it'd be like, you know, like, like having people have multiple arms. Like, no, I, I don't need multiple arms. Hair, go get me something out of, out of the kitchen, you know, out of the kitchen or something like that, you know? You didn't have to move anything. You just stretch your, your hair out and boom, there you go. Grabbed it. And it's such a weird ability that she's the only, and she's the only, the only character to do this. You know, she's the only character that has the, her arms tied to her hair. Which is interesting to boot. Take that! Ow. Come on now. Ah, oh, that bomb didn't do us any favors. Go BAM! Oh, he's got a special going. Yes! That was the diversity tactic. It was meant to be that way. No! Teammate are down! Take you out of your special! Ow! Oh, that was painful. 
Oh, I was hoping somebody could grab him, grab him from the back, but it did not work out the way it's intended. But, ooh! KO'd though, regardless. Ribbon Girl wins the game. <laughs> Woo! Not a bad. Not a bad at all. Woo hoo! Woo hoo! Dun 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 Give more twin tail some love. But it didn't do Let's go for both umbrellas. Oh my teammate was Oh come on! <laughs> this is unfair! My teammate lost <laughs> The teammate KO'd itself. <laughs> it lost connection. Now it's a two on one, which, to be fair, this is the most unfair match of all time. <laughs> I can't win. There's no chance of this. Why even let this match continue on? It's what I say about um, Splatoon fights, too, when they when you lose a, a playable uh, teammate and you just, you know, you have to go on with like a, you know, a three on four. And while it's technically unfair, you can still do it. This is not a match to, this is a game that does not work well with this in mind. That is unfortunate that she got disconnected. I can't believe this. As I welcome new Twitch viewers to the, to the stream, thank you for being there. It's always a pleasure seeing new faces show up. I really need to get some more twin tail arms. <laughs> I don't have very many of her. And it's because the arms when, when you play that mini game, it's it's random. And that's the only that's the only problem I find that for. Ooh, ow, ow. Going to get the ninjara. Oh boy. Ah! Huzzah! Booyah! Take care of that! Take that! Punched by hair! Huzzah! Oh! Got him in the air! No, uh. Come on now! We got this hook! Oh, I'm gonna dodge that! Uh, no, 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 no! Oh! Owned badly. Ah, uh, he's coming down to the wire on this one. Come on, yes! I grabbed him and. Yeah! Win, folks. Clutch win. Ha <laughs> ha. Booyah. It's time to take on. Let's give Twin Tail a break and let's go with a new unique fighter. Bite and Bark. This is the only fighter that deals with a sort of a co-op person in crime or saving the. He's a cop, after all. But, um, he can be considered unfair because he technically has a third arm in the favor of his dog, Bark. So bear that in mind. Though you can hit, you can hit Bark and take him out for a few seconds, but not by much. He is kind of the... In the same, in the same instance, he's like, he's like Springtron where he's a robot. Yeah! Let's do that, bad boy! Oh! No, 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 no! Come on, get up there! Spike it! No! Why did my camera not reach that bark? You did not go after the ball! You should be going after the said ball! Come on, hit him, hit him! Yeah! Oh! 
Yeah! Woo, that was, uh, that was clutch. Boom! Mmm! That is awesome! Another win for Bark! Do ya! Perfecto! Let's see, let's switch out his arm here for this one. Sulky. And then we'll turn out steel for the flame arms. The nades. Let's go, bite and bark. We're gonna fight him against a Min Min fighter. Mm-hmm. Za! Oh, it was Min Min, but now let's switch up to to him, okay? Huzzah! I think this is Dr. Coyle, or Dr. Kyle's, or, uh, uh, arena I think we're on here, which has a conveyor belt in the middle. Now, I think it's stated that Dr. Coyle, or Dr. I, can't, I, can't, I keep getting her name wrong, anyway. The evil doctor, the main, the main antagonist of the game, essentially wanted to create the ultimate arms fighter. So she created a, sort of a DNA type, um, unit to basically to get data on or or DNA data on all the supposed fight of all the fighters who know how to you how to use your expanded arms and and uh, created something called the headlock I think she created and um, wants to basically to win the arms tournament whenever is possible and I do believe she's the one that also created um, Springtron there too so but again, she was added as as a, as a bonus. She was added as an update to the game, as the main antagonist. But again, I wish if, if Arms Two was ever a thing, you know, it'd be nice to actually have you know some sort of story mode. <laughs> All right, Headlock, let's try you again with Sulky. I think it's I think this is poison, I think. Silky's poison. And I'm just getting Owen completely up all the way in, all the way from downtown here. Take that! Bark! Go and bite headlock! Go bite him! <laughs> Go bite headlock! Ow! Come on! Oh, we're not doing any damage to this guy. <laughs> Come on! Oh, we're doing some good work on it. No! Don't hit me! Ow! 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 Oh, my dog! It's been taken down! No! Oh, I'm dead. There's nothing I can say about that one. Ah. Could have been better. But can they do it? It doesn't look like they can, though. There's six seconds left, and they missed the special there. We probably would have done him in. Headlock wins. Tis a shame. Tis a shame, really. I'll get you later. You mechanical floating head. <laughs> Let's see. We haven't seen Bulb yet, so I'll keep these. I'll keep these arms on as they are. We gotta wait for another match to start up, and we're going through a three for all—a headlock scramble. <laughs> Let's do this. Bite and bark. To fight alongside, we'll do, uh... 
All right, here we go. Oh, you can actually target headlock. Okay, that makes more sense in that regard. No, no, ah! I'm just a, look, look, I am just of the law. You need to stop hitting me, please. Who? Ah! Oh, the headlock has disappeared. Headlock is now the law. <laughs> you got, you must fear him. Oh. Everyone's, why are you guys attacking me? <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Uh. Oh, this guy got owned badly. I got a KO, but what at what cost? I can't hit get hit all at once. I need that health boost. <laughs> oh, ow! No! Oh, that's it for me. I tried, folks. I tried to keep up. <laughs> Almost had that win. Almost. If I wasn't ganged up on earlier. <laughs> we'll give another fight to uh, Bark and Bite. And then we will switch to the next fighter in the lineup. Do, 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 do. We'll keep these uh, arms as they are. A frost and fire. Fire and ice. Oh, my arm got disabled because of that electrical arms there. Booyah, take that, mummy. Ow. Take that. <laughs> oh boy, no, 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 no. Ooh, I was on the ground, so I didn't get hit by it. Hoot, ow. Come on, you master mummy. Ow. One opponent left. Yeah! Did I get them both? I wonder if I got them both. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Oh no, Ninjara got the, uh, my punk my partner got it. That was so quick in succession too. <laughs> All right, set up for the next fire. This is Kid Cobra. Kid Cobra. I couldn't come up with the name of the guy earlier. He's more of the skateboarder type. And reflected as such, he's more of the snake-like character. Oh, boy. No! Oh, I missed. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I hit the thing. Ugh. I keep getting hit like nothing else on this guy. Yeah, there we go. Take that. Oh, I'm not doing so hot in this fight. Take that! Yeah! Oh, what a comeback, folks! What a comeback that was! I thought I was gonna lose! Expert dodge in there. Cobra. Booyah. Cobra. 
Let's see, do I have actually, if we're gonna wait on a fighter or we're gonna be on to a fight? Cause, okay, you're ready to fight. So two on one! This seems a bit unfair. <laughs> well, actually, I think that person actually hold dash to get a quick charge. That works. Let's switch up some arms, because I've got two of the same arms, it looks like. Gotta wait, sync up for online. Get the boomerang going. Let's punch! Your internet. These people's internet. Master Mummy kept blocking me out on that one. Ow! Oh yeah, come on! Take that! Disable all of our arms, but I don't matter. Take that, Master Mummy! Oh! Take that, Master Mummy! Huzzah! Yeah! Booyah! K.O. Huzzah! We win again! Team Cobra wins! La 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 Oh, 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 oh. Now we're in a Min Min's arena. We're going against the teammate Mutiny. <laughs> Let's go for some boomerang action. Some frosty boomerangs. No, oh, no, no, no. The grabs are so quick. Take that. Take a grab to the face. Ow. Take that. Booyah! Ow. Take care of you! K.O. Booyah, folks! Huzzah! Winner! Kid Cobra! And that's what you get when you go again when you go when you go against your own team mate in the last match. That's what happens. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Let's go, 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 go. We're waiting for a fight to end here. We'll just keep fighting with Kid Cobra for a little bit longer and then we'll move on to another fight. Or at least another. Bolt spans. Hey, uh, how's it going in Twitch chat? Hoping to have a fantastic night as well. Just gaming and chilling, folks, with uh, with arms. Regular arms viewer here. Oh, sweet! Well, I hope I'm not disappointing you at all, um, uh, Bolt Spartan, Bolt fans. I hope I'm not disappointing you at all <laughs> with my sort of lackluster uh, arm skills. I'm only like a. I've only bought this game like a month ago, so. Looks like it's another scramble with Dr. Coil. <laughs> no one's going after Headlock. <laughs> no! You grabbed me out a chain grab, you would say. Okay, why are you going? <laughs> okay, okay, first off, I've won a few matches lately, so that's no wonder they're going after me! Ah! Oh, 
Oh, what was that? Was that the special or something with the particular arm? Yeah, that's not Dr. Coyle's ability. She can disappear when she dodges, when she double jumps or such. She can hide herself. Come on now. Come on! Pick her out! Can I just get a KO from her? That'd be great. Hey, no! Oh. I'm gonna die anyway. Ow. Oh! Ah! KO'd off screen. Oh, the, the link has been scrambled from Streamlabs. Try this. Streamlabs, try to send in. Oh. <laughs> Lethal dose of punches. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Like, for those wondering on, t for those after the fact, yeah, for some reason, uh, Streamlabs has bundled up my links to, uh, to my stuff. I'm not sure as to why it did. <laughs> but if you do go to my, you actually go to my Twitch channel, my, the link to my Discord and such, and all the rest of my social media stuff is on the channel, under the panels. I don't know why the link has been scribbled. I really don't know why. All right, this will be our last match with Kid Cobra. We'll move on to something else. Let's try the boomerangs. Boomerangs were using pretty good against uh, last time. Who oh, no, no. Headlock. Take a ice to the face. Ow. There we go. He just he just like died there for a second there. What what, what happened? Take that. gonna activate a special anytime soon. It's like that and I get owned by it. I need that health. <laughs> Ow. Come on you headlock. Take care of you. On the next target. Ow, 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 ow. Huzzah! I got KO'd. This is the way the way the Lola Pop does a perfectly does a pose perfectly understand situation on Lungs. <laughs> well we're getting the Lola Pop pretty soon. This was our last match with uh, the Kid Cobra fighter. Oh, and Dr. Coyle defeated her own creation, it looks like. Or lost. Nope. Almost. We've only defeated his headlock like twice the entire session. <laughs> Alright, it's time to change up a fighter with Helix. We got Helix to go up here. Helix is the creation by Dr. Coyle. As a way to gain info about other arms characters and uh, Helix is all that DNA he's a very awkward fighter to be fair ah, <laughs> oh, no 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 oh. Helix is not my favorite fighter though he's just he's a little he's a little bit awkward to control Look, I'm not even getting any action from him. I'm not getting any of my fights in at all. Dr. Quail is just flying like nothing else and calming me to oblivion. Can I even hit you for once? There we go. Da 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 da! 
No! And look at that, I just grab even without the animation. That's <laughs> Helix is, just takes a little too long to get up off the ground. Oof. Oh, well, we'll get to we'll get to you later, Doctor Coyle. I'll make sure to mop that smirk right off your face. Let's try. Yeah, here we go. The roaster. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Foodana! Warm up again! You haven't seen the dummies in the background, but they're all different versions of Helix. <laughs> Which is odd to say the least. Heavy arms will, def will deflect lighter ones. Okay, that works. Alright, we're going against a lower pop with. Um, hoops! <laughs> no! Look out! Ah, you're not getting me from there. Ah! Ah! Just like in real basketball! Like, <laughs> rim off the rim job! Oh, come on! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no! I'm not getting any points from this. Because it's Helix. I don't know how to play well as Helix, folks. <laughs> no! I have not gotten a point. There we go, that changes, but that means nothing in the grand scheme of things, though. So actually, Bolt Spawn, Spans and Twitch is at, saying, actually, yes, the, the cells were the prototype of Helix. Mm-hmm. And see, this is me coming off of just knowledge from in the game. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm not very proficient at knowing how the lore of arms, too, but I try my best on it. You can dash while jumping, too. Alrighty. Mega Volts! Come on! Will you stop dodging? Intel, you stop doing that. <laughs> Keeps dodging way too fast, and Helix takes forever to get around. You think he'd be a quick guy, but he's not. Wow, I am just not doing anything to Twintel here. Oh, come on. Mega Volt to death! Ah! I was doing better with the other fighters. <laughs> Helix is just... He's a little awkward to control, in my honest opinion, folks. Since time is getting a little bit shorter... We're going to be playing with the next character in the roster, Max Brass. We'll probably get a couple matches with him. Because we go for about two hours, folks, from the time we start streaming, so. Max Brass, he is the reigning champion of arms. And is, uh, su and surprisingly very physically fit for being a 50-year-old person. <laughs> He does get taken over by Headlock, though, in the later harder difficulties of the ARMS uh, Grand Prix. So, you have to face whatever ARMS he's got. 
in that match. Which can be a pain in the backside if you're not prepared for it. Especially when head Headlock gives you six arms to actually go against that. And Helio, this is very dangerous. Helio, Helix with the <laughs> with Headlock? This is dangerous. Well, it is only level three because it's a two on one, to be fair. But Max Brass does do more damage. Has he's very he's very, you know, strong fit for it. But took headlock out with no problem. Well Max Brass is 15 years old, so you are indeed correct. Because again, if you when you're playing uh, in Grand Prix mode, they do give you a they do give you a, some sort of a little bit of a synopsis with you know with every character, and they tell you that Max Brass is the leading champion of the arms, and he's been doing it for open, for the majority of his life. And is it? And I think the lore is that they can turn they can turn their arms back to normal at will. If I'm if I'm reading that correctly. Hoo ya! Max Brass! Ha! Hoo! Take that! Ha! <laughs> Booyah! Oh, the bomb got him. Nice. Hoo ya! Oh no no! Ow! Hey! Don't you hit me like that! Ow! That's it! Actually, no, the arms can go back into human shape, but they're com completely compressed. Simply compressed. Oh, I see. Because wasn't it, um... Because I think Min Min... I think... I think her bio, I think it was originally... I, I think, if I'm correct, is right. She basically infused her DNA with ramen, which gave her her noodle-like arms. I think that's the case. <laughs> Don't worry. All fighters can fit to the hoop. <laughs> In case you're playing as Max Brass, you can do that. <laughs> All right, Max Brass. Oh, no! Oh no no no! No no! I'm getting hair locked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, come on! That's unfair! In from downtown! Ow! Oh, wow, that kind of hurt. Go, 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 go! Oh, come on! That bomb is in the way! Oh, ow! When you're going to use Lollipop next, be careful when navigating her. Okay. We'll see who's next on the roster. Changing up fighters. We got Lollipop next. And her role is that she's more of a defensive. She's more defensive than anything else's, because her default arm does come with an uh, with a shield. And every time she uses her her guard, she can actually increase her you know her she can inflate herself to become more defensive. So she's more of, she's more of the defensive type of fighter. So she's more, she's like a trick, trickster more than anything else, but she is a clown in real life, or a, a clown for her real job. I got headlocked, I got headlocked, and that headlock is gone. I do like her grab though, she just kicks you, she just kicks her opponent three times. Nope. 
Ow, 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 ow. I'm trying to get that headlock off her, off her head there. Oh, no, 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 no! Alright, time for me to use my special! On out! Come down the wire! Oh! I think that shield hunter did it. That's kind of weird Streamlabs is being wonky. Yeah, the cap, cap lock has been used by, uh, <laughs> by Kid Cobra. In both fans, it's funny you should say that. When Mr. Yakabuki said in artworks of Lollipop, he wasn't even aware that North America had a weak, had a small weakness of clowns because of the horror. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I think one of the time there was like these clowns coming, like people dressing up in clowns and causing kind of a scare along amongst everywhere else. It was kind of weird at the time. Who did it? Come on! I personally have never been, actually to be honest, I've actually never been afraid of clowns. They just kind of feel like the weird, they kind of feel like the awkward thing that if you went to a carnival or a fair, and most likely there was going to be a clown of some kind at the, at the vicinity, so... Yeah, I countered yours! Ha 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 ha! Take that! Bit of curveball! Oh boy, oh boy, no, 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 no! My arms are not as strong as hers, so I can't block him very easily. That was perfectly timed. And both fans and Twitch is also saying, to be fair though, Japan's fear of clowns were obscure. Dude, does Japan ever have, have clowns though? Let's be honest. I'm not sure though. It's time to go into the uh, on to the more better ro the next roster. We got Misango up next. Yeah, in the, in the word of Dr. Quill after defeating Lollipop, clowns don't scare her. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, Miss Lago. He has his ability to upgrade himself depending on the spirit that's acted to him. It's not useful in this fight, though, because it's hoops. <laughs> There's not really else playing now. <laughs> this is weird. No, 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 no. Man, this guy knows how to dodge. Come on, you. Uh, uh, folks, uh, is this supposed to be hoops, not an outright brawl? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Win by default. <laughs> so both fans are saying about, depending on the colors of the mask, it helps him to be able to enable to navigate. Red means super armor and power, blue means speed, and yellow means rush filling faster. Oh, okay. Cool, I did not know. I thought it was just, you know, some sort of augment power depending on which arm you had. It was, because it's not, it doesn't really tell you that much. It's, I'm not aware. But I am very thankful for you for both spans being in Twitch chat, telling me all the, the, deep, the deepest lore of, of arms. 
So we got this bubblegum arm thing. <laughs> There's, this is not one of his default arms. You have to, but order, you have to activate your shield in order to activate these uh, sh these uh, masks for him. You have the shield to get the mask in front of you, and then you have to dash into it for it to actually trigger. He's like these little bouncers. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you hit me. Alright, come on, where is he going? Booyah! Oh no, I got something here. Bam! Oh no, no! No, no, no! Oh. He's like, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. you're gonna try to hurt for me? No, oh, sorry, Bob. Not my watch. I don't even. Know. What's a watch? Oh, what am I? Oh, ow! Ow! Come on out! Ah! Oh, please don't KO me. Ow. Well, I don't win this, but I don't technically lose it either. I got second place by default. Is it my problem? Those are gushers. Did you know that Misenga was only all three poison arms? Oh! Oh, that's, oh, that is right. He did start off with all three poison arms. That's right. Slinky, the bouncers, oh, the gushers, and the scorpions is what he started out with. Get one more match with him, and then move on to the next couple of fighters. We're running low on time, but we're going to do as we can here. Poison damage has been pretty consistent, though it's not very much. But it's nice to have regardless, so you can actually that they can't guard behind their shields from time to time. <laughs> Helix, don't you dare do that to me. Come on, I am power. Boom, ya! Did I actually KO him or something? I wonder if you can KO him like that, or at least combo him. Oh yeah! Actually, Scorpio, Gusher, and Sulky. Oh, Sulky, that's the name. Right, right. And I do like it that the mask still stays on in the victory animation for him. Which is cool, I like that. Now it's on to the uh, very awkward Springtron. Which goes into the whole point of... Of, uh, sp of Springman being the main protagonist and making Springtron because, I guess, Springman was the most perfected uh, being of arms? <laughs> Booyah! Booyah, come on! This game mode, though, I've mentioned earlier in the stream that I don't like this particular game mode. This hit the targets. When I'm playing in the single player, this, it seems like the AI knows exactly how to hit the targets first before I do. Even though I clearly see the target breaking on my end. It's like, it gets like so many powerful points. <laughs> oh yeah. Looks like the teammates aren't doing the our opposing team isn't doing very much in the points department because we've already got a thousand points, well at least almost two thousand points in that regard. Ah. But Springtron is heavy. Like he doesn't stay in the air for very long. So if he double jumps, he's gonna fall to the ground really fast. 
You would think that with Springtron, you think they would have alternate skins to have them you know, to reflect you know, the other characters. You know, but Springtron is just looks like Springman with the metal coat. And Boltzmann says, when playing a Springtron, he has the same arms as Springman, same movements, same deflecting abilities, and even most of the same voice lines. The difference between the two is that Springman can burst into flames with his health is low. Springtron, however, can't or how can use a giant shockwave. I can disarm other players. He's a bit slower than Spring Man, but he makes a giant shockwave. He's faster. Oh. He's also, he also is heavier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we got another headlock fight, level 4. Now, is there actually headlock higher level than 5, though? Because I, I have not seen anything higher than 5. To be honest. And that could be that my level is a little bit lower than other players, but... Uh, I've evolved tonight, though, the highest we've seen is level 5. I'm not sure if there's anything higher than that. I like the Gigavolt and the Megavolt arms, though, because in, Sp <laughs> because in Smash Brothers, it does a hefty amount of damage, which really helps me out in the, uh... Which didn't really help me out in the World of Light playthrough that I recently did. So, if you're looking for references and all that stuff, you should go check out my uh, playthrough of that. It's up on the channel now. So choose. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. Oh, he blocked it. <laughs> that shield hammer. That shield thing did it. Did it in. Come on, noob. Teammates down, new. No! Oh, and I'm gonna go down too. <laughs> and he's got his special ready. Ow, 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 ow. Did I get hit by my own teammate from that? Come on, come on, come on, hit him, hit him. Oh! He had one point of HP left. <laughs> He had one point of HP left. I can't believe that. <laughs> and that's the whole... That's, that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying that he wins by one point of HP left. Alright, we'll get one more fight in with Springtron. And we got only, I think, two fighters left. Is there a team match? Team match. Let's do this. This is also a Master Mummy stage. No, no, no. And those hammers do a lot of damage, though. He's only going after me for some reason. I'm technically the bigger threat. Personally, but again, I don't play these characters very often or all much stuff, so I'm all a big noob when it comes to this game. Ribbon Girl? No! Oh, that's it for me. Oh, I'm down to one hit point. Ah. Got done in, folks, got done in. Ooh. I don't think my teammate's gonna do it though. Yeah, there he goes. Again, when you get to the two, when it gets to the two and one, it's completely unfair. You might as well, if one AI goes down, it, or one when your teammates go down, it should be considered like a, a you know a draw or a match because rarely do you ever get the chance to take down the other team very fast. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, we're on the last fighter. Dr. Coil. Let's see, where can you switch our arms out? Oh, I already got her. Oh, no. Oh, I got two lock arms. <laughs> I do lock jaw arms. We're going to have to switch those up. That's weird. I cannot equip two arms at the same time like that. Oh, well. 
We'll switch them out after the next match. If I get the time to do it, though. Dr. Coil, the main antagonist, quote-unquote. Because, again, the game doesn't really give a clear statement of who the final boss was until the last few updates when she was actually added into the game. <laughs> so... And I am horrible playing as her because I have... I can't use two arms. I'm only using two arms I don't know how to use very well. Take that! Oh, he knocked me right out of the special. Oh, the bomb did me in! <laughs> Actually, Dr. Quill can be seen just after that in level 6 and 7. Oh, okay. Which will smack Max Brass out of the Sky Arena. Ow! <laughs> I guess she means business, if that's the case. Let's see if I can set her arm differently here to... There we go. Set. There we go. I think that's her default movement set here. The dog can act with one of her extra built-in arms during a fully parged chunt. Punch. Oh! Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Can you take down my contraption, please? It's going out of whack. Then I laugh at you all. Ha 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 ha. Yeet ha! Ow. This is level 3. This should be very easy for us at level 3. With three people going at it. I'm getting owned like nothing else. Good thing I'm in the healing bath here. Did I get hit from, from someone else's arm? That's not fair. I thought we were teammates. This is a... Th uh, I thought it was a 3 on 1. I feel like I'm getting hit. Go. Come on now. Oh, ow. Come on now, I'll take you out. Yeah, because she even experimented on herself to get herself on. I think I had mentioned that earlier. She, she wanted... Didn't she... I think she collected... She created Helix to... To get DNA on her so that she can create arms herself, I thought. I'm going to go against David again. Oh, 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 oh. I would, I would not want to experiment myself to give myself augment abilities. Like I don't need them. I don't need longer arms. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Master Mummy. Going with double arms yourself. I so can too. I do like her theme though. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a very dark tone of the arms main theme, which is kind of cool. Oh, I thought I actually grabbed him, but I didn't. Ah, oh, got done in by the mummy. Well, because you weren't born with these arms, Dr. Coyle. And the people who were born with them, they know how to use their bodies better than you do. Okay. Perfectly. Perfectly. As we're getting close to the end of this session, though, folks, for this game and chill, we'll get one more match. We'll get a couple. Let's see if we can get a couple matches with Dr. Coil. And then we'll see. And then we'll call it there. Let's do this. 
Another headlock is in the is in the vicinity. Break that hemlock out of there. Oh, you got it. For I could. That's my experiment, thank you. How dare you use that experiment against me? No, I want to. Hey, yeah, that's not fair. I grabbed her. <laughs> I grabbed her. Ow! Oh boy, that was close. Come on! Yes! Come on, she's down to one hit point! Oh, come on! Let me have my fun! Well, that's it for me! Ah! Uh, that is annoying! <laughs> All right. One more fight. This will be our final match of the night, folks. Whatever it is. Oh! <laughs> I like not like moving the icons up and down. <laughs> it's quite funny. Right, Doctor Coil. Let's take down the ninja. Ah. Stop doing that. I can't I can't hit these guys at all. I'm getting horrible at this, folks, because <laughs> I don't play this that often. Oh, that's that's it. That's game. For the most part, I can't even hit him at all. He dodges like, man! That is annoying. Right, have yourself a nice day. Thanks for Bolt Spanish for being there and with the lore and everything. Thank you for that. And Def Husky in, is in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, Dev Husky, for the nice matches. But that is going to be our last match, folks. We'll get to our badges here, see what unlocked. Then fighting in ribbon, ring, 100 light boxes broke. Into one town. Oh, I got. And see, this is what you do: you get badges for experience. You get these event. You get these badges, which is your achievements, as I said earlier. And you get all. And you get points. You get all these uh, arms tokens, so you can use to get more arms. In randomness, and you can use those as your icon in multiplayer. But that is going to do it tonight, folks, for this game and chill of arms on Nintendo Switch. Thank you all for watching, and if you want to see other game and chills, please check out the play the playlist that will show up at the end card. It'll be very appreciated to see all the rest of the game and watches to see which games you like to see next. But until then, I'll see you guys back here for the YouTube exit. I'll see you guys back here when we do another game and chill.